Sheetal on various Facebook handles of Twin Win and Inspiration School. As you can see, Dr. Sheetal Sharma, you are about to meet her in a minute. Uh, she is with uh, the Honorable Prime Minister and many Chief Ministers and even uh, with dignitaries from her own background. Then uh, we can also see in the next slide that there is an India-Denmark workshop on digital agriculture and Dr. Sheetal Sharma can be sitting, can be uh, seen Seems sitting uh, in the uh, benches. Next is uh, a SAR consultation meet, which is being held uh, from 21st to 23rd of August 2019, which was held rather, and she can be seen here as well. And then uh, she is a Japan International Awardee for Young Agricultural Researchers. So uh, this makes this session very interesting. And I know that all the students who are interested in science, or even those who are not interested in science, would love to meet her because as the tagline here says that there should be many sheroes. So we have heard about heroes and then there are sheroes who make everyone proud and she is one of them. In Indian tradition, there is a beautiful line which says Narse Narayan. And I would like to tweak it a little bit and say in many contexts, in people like Dr. Sheetal Sharma, we have Nari Se Narayani. Uh, getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning to go and take uh, data from the field uh, growing the crops yourself, knowing how the food comes from. Uh, these are few aspects, you know, we never thought about initially, uh, but that's how my journey, journey started. After MSc, there are different options that you could go for. So there are department, uh, department of agriculture in every state, uh, which recruits people from BSc, MSc at, uh, these are called agriculture development officers. It's a very good post, gazetted post in most of the states. Uh, but if you want to go for research, then you go for PhD. I did completed my PhD. And uh, I think thankfully after completion of my PhD, I was interviewed by International Rice Research Institution and recruited over here. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Uh, it's an honor to be interacting with you. So um, I remember this one time I'm, I met a student of class seventh. She asked me, um, I she said to me that I understand what engineers do. They work with softwares and all, but I don't really get what researchers do. And I'm really sure that most of the students here have this question, question on their mind. So if you could elaborate on your daily work obligations, it will be great. Sure. So as we say research, it's, yeah. you know, searching which is existing, but searching it with the perspective that how that will be applicable in the current scenario, right? So my everyday uh, routine, if you say it starts nowadays, it starts with opening the laptop <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, taking my position to start with. Uh, we do uh, one session with my staff, which is distributed across the globe. So I have staff right now in Myanmar, in Indonesia, in Bangladesh, uh, sitting in Odisha, sitting in Varanasi. So we have one session where we interact and we kind of brainstorm on, um, on the research that we are doing, the experiments that we have put in the field, how they are going, uh, what we are noticing, uh, is there something that we have to con be concerned about? Just an example that uh, we started an experiment on rice and uh, there was no rain. So uh, whether uh, we need to include some drought tolerant varieties in those areas for the farmers because they are suffering that the pattern rain patterns are changing. Mm -hmm. And then we brainstorm on what need to be done. What also like we have to think um, beyond these times. Agriculture is something that will continue. You know, you, yeah. you can live without cars, you can live without uh, computers, uh, but you can't live without food. So you have to do something about it. And then we, uh, I look at the, so you have to read a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. We read a lot of research papers, mm -hmm. uh, journals, mm -hmm. uh, newspapers on what is happening. Uh, think about it, like how you can make a difference into it, how your work will help in changing something that is happening now or will happen in future. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So just an example, we are uh, working on developing varieties uh, which can grow in high CO2 levels mm -hmm. and in uh, under high temperatures. So that will be the scenario in future. True. Right. And uh, then we plan our research, make sure everything is happening uh, on time. We can't do everything. 
So we work in a multidisciplinary team. I'm a soil scientist. I work with an agronomist. I work with an economist. So agriculture is a very broad uh, subject, but it has a lot of sub subjects. So there are agriculture economist. There yeah. are uh, agronomists, there are breeders, yeah. there are genetics people, uh, there are social people who also interact with the farmers, how to take the technology to the farmers. Just developing it will not make a difference. So, yeah. Ask uh, one more question here that, you know, when, you know, it is said that if you want to achieve something that you have never had, you'll have to do something that you have never done. So like, I would like to request you to, you know, give this, you know, message to students that what kind of skills should they actually work upon to become like a scientist in a field like agriculture? So what are those essential skills? Okay. So um, in India scenario, uh, the first thing is that you have to take a science subject, uh, you know, uh, doing plus one and plus two. Uh, start looking for universities and institutions who offer these programs. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, most of them are entrance test. Uh, there is also an Indian Council for Agriculture Research, uh, which is a main body of agriculture in India. Uh, and they have institutions all over India. Mm -hmm. And even the state uh, universities are affiliated to them. Mm -hmm. So they also uh, put in uh, entrance exams uh, and uh, you, have, you can apply and you also get scholarship for uh, the studies. Okay. So, um, but finally, I mean, whatever subject you take, uh, the key is hard work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it doesn't mean that you have to be very intelligent. What you need is the hard work and being persistent and having a passion for what you do. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't have a passion uh, for what I'm doing, I'll not be happy with what I'm doing. And if you see that you are making a difference for people like the farmers, you know, who are at a very grassroots level, that's what encourages passion in you. Yes. So yeah. I think uh, that's the key: hard work, persistent, and having a passion for what you do. Yes. There's one student, uh, like Ranjana, who is asking a question. Uh, can you please tell what are the main subjects that are there in BSc Agriculture? Okay. Yeah. So BSc Agriculture is a professional degree, um, and when you enter into agriculture, it's uh, similar to any other. So there, it's more broad at that time at a BSc level. So uh, we are taught everything that is related to agriculture, which is breeding, plant breeding, mm -hmm. uh, genetics, mm -hmm. entomology, which is a study of insect and pests that affect the crop. Uh, we study agriculture economics, which is like, uh, what is the economics of producing a crop? Uh, we even study veterinary sciences uh, because those are directly related to agriculture. Uh, we study home sciences. Uh, which are also related to agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, pathologist, which is the study of diseases. Mm -hmm. Agronomy, which is the study of basic crop production. Mm -hmm. uh, soil science, which is the study of soil, what is happening in the soil, what reactions are there. So and, um, can you list out some of the uh, professions uh, that students can take up in the research field or the science yes. field after that? Okay, so uh, there are many actually. So it's not only agriculture. After yeah. you complete your science, we have uh, now a good scope for biotech. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's growing. There is a very good scope in genetics, you know, because of the climate change, we need uh, new plant species. Uh, there is a very good scope in economics, actually, uh, mm -hmm. agriculture yeah. economics, where, yeah. you know, uh, there is a need to understand the value chain. And uh, they have a good scope in international institutes like FAO, yeah. if you talk about World Bank and yeah. uh, different international organizations, uh, this is there. Uh, even if you are doing PhD in chemistry, you know, there mm -hmm. is a big scope in everything that you do. So uh, yeah. there are a lot of streams that you, you can choose from. Yeah. There are a lot of options actually nowadays that are available and with good career scope. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so and much. Uh, last but not the least, the environmentalist. I think you have uh, yeah. one on the panel. Yeah, so, policy making and yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I think these these are some of the good scopes that you have, you know. Uh, yeah. And yeah, just I think just go for it, you know, look at it. Yeah. It's all about uh, reading and knowing things. So be yeah. vigilant, keep your eyes, ears open and yeah. you'll find your career.